So, uh, my understanding is that um, you got kicked out of the, the auction room. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, well, we started off um, with the knowledge that it was a public auction, so we went in there just as observers. Um, but then they reached the capacity, so they decided to kick us out, and um, we ended up finding a loophole where we could um, sign a, fill, fill out a registration form and get in there as registered bidders, um, even though we weren't going to bid on anything. So we were sitting there for a while, um, you know, watching it go on, and then it got to a certain point where we were basically just fed up with it and we had enough. Um, so we made our move and, you know, we basically got in front of, uh, you know, the announcers, people doing the auctions, and started trying to, our best to inform people of the, um, the dangers of fracking and that was more than enough of a reason for them to kick us out, so. How many people were kicked out besides you? Um, well, I was the second one kicked out, so um, I'm not sure after that. I know of at least at least four people that were kicked out, to my knowledge, so far. You think it's uh, clear to the DNR that there's significant public opposition to selling off land for the purpose of fracking? Yeah, I think it's clear. I, I think it's been clear. I just, you know, I don't know at what point um, the people's wants and needs will win over and money, you know? Yeah. Tell me about uh, what happened inside. Well, they went through and systematically bought up parcels of land at between $12 and $380 uh, a parcel. I stood up after a comrade started applauding for Hellfitch and I got on a table and said, this is poisonous. Uh, you're just doing this for your own good. This is not something that we will stand by and you will not succeed. And I was told not to come back or I'd get arrested. Did they escort you out then? Uh, only outside of the room by the bathrooms, not all the way. Out. They just, I, I didn't want to put up too much of a stand. Okay,